Good morning, dude. So, we are a little unexpected, but we're gonna take Elijah to the doctor. Yeah. Not because we think he has a flu or anything like that. Um, I honestly think he might have a little bit of an ear infection or he has a little yeah. sore throat, but I think sore. it's more his ears have been plugged the past few days. Yeah, I wish usually I could get it out, but like. Yeah, just it might be. Plugged, I ruffled, down yeah. Quiet. And he gets this, you guys. I think it's kind of like a sinus thing with his ears, and so he's had a little ear pain. So we're just gonna go get him checked out. They were able to squeeze him in this morning, so we're gonna go and uh, just get looked at. So they gave you a little strep test, right? For strep throat? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see how was that. I can totally hear in your nose that you're congested, so. Yeah, my nose is like stuff right here. And so it's, then this ear sometimes yeah. I switch to this nostril and this ear. So no no fever. Your pulse is good. Yeah, no fever. Your pulse is good. And your oxygen levels are good, and you've got, but your ears, nose, and throat are all congested. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see what's going on with that. Hello, we are back. Woo! Getting Woo! Some chores done. Chores done. Oh, uh, so did you update them? On Elijah? Yeah. No, not yet. So we are back from the doctors, you guys. Tina's just working away. Yes. And uh, that's the crazy thing with all of this, like, housework never stops. Oh my like, gosh. Like the coronavirus. <laughs> actually made for more housework more housework because the kids are eating more at home so the dishes are stacking up quicker it's just it's just constant like doing dishes and yeah. packing and trying to get everything done so so elijah did get checked by the doctor obviously um and his strep test came back negative so that's fine um however they did see that he's just kind of congested it's uh it's more of an allergy thing um, she did see some, like, his tube in it, one of his ears might be coming loose. Um, no ear infection, so we're good with that. You guys, we just wanted to play it safe. Um, especially now. Just play it safe now and get it out of the way. I don't want to have to go to doctor's offices later if there's, like, an influx of anything. Um, and so we were just kind of in and out at the pediatrician, which was awesome. We didn't even have to go to urgent care. We went to the, the regular pediatrician. They had openings, and so it was... It was nice. <laughs> How do you feel, Elijah? Um, just allergies. Just yeah, just like, pretty much allergies. Was the doctor nice? Yeah, she was nice. It was like, uh, so pretty much there's like, um, I got tubes in. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. It was like two years ago, so. Anyway, my, my left tube has already fell out. My right tube hasn't. So what she's saying is like earwax is almost like blocking it. And that like it almost doesn't look like it's properly in like it's it's like, almost sideways, coming loose and it's like coming loose so we're gonna go to his ear nose and throat doctor uh, set up an appointment with them have them check everything out again see if you're gonna need tubes back in the one ear or if this tube needs to come out we'll see what's going on maybe do a hearing test he says he sounds muffled but we're gonna get him on some Zyrtec children's mucinex and um, and that's it just drink lots of fluids right yeah. yep so we're good so you guys, a little bit later, I'm gonna be making something up with the air fryer. I got a new air fryer, you guys. Last one we had was from a while back. We've got an upgraded one, you guys, right here. The Carl Schmitt Sohn air fryer. And uh, we'll send you guys a link to that. I'm trying to think, what should I make with the air fryer? Hmm. Should I make like fries? Should I make chicken nuggets? Should I make Considering something? Considering we don't have either of those, probably oh. not. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know if that's what really should we work. make? We got to figure out uh, something. I'm gonna make something in that air fryer you right there. Grilled cheese sandwiches in there? Ooh, that would be kind of cool Maybe try to that. see. We'll try that out. Good idea. All right, you guys. So we are trying to avoid being outside as much as possible. This is actually probably my first time going out in what three days. Yeah. In like three days, I have not been out of the house, but I need to go. Ooh, sorry, the light. I need to go and actually get a couple things to send to Brayden. 
um, and get his box out in FedEx. So right now I am going to Target. I've got to grab him a couple essential things that he needs and then we will be going to the post office, mailing this off and then headed straight back home. All right, here we go. Target shopping underway. Not too busy here, which is good. Some cute clothes though. Call me out tiger. Call me out, why don't you laugh? Lift me up higher Above the clouds, won't you laugh? When the scenery is right go. All right, just finished up at Target, you guys. That was weird to see, honestly. I haven't really been much in the stores because we've been just trying to send Danny. Um, but that was weird. Yeah. Seeing all the empty shelves, that has never happened in our lifetime, it so. It's like silent. It's, it's just like this weird, weird, like eerie feeling being in the stores. I don't know, because I think it's, it's on everybody's mind. Everyone's trying to keep their distance, rightfully so. And it just feels weird. And even Ashlyn was like, why are they not like playing music or anything over the, they usually have like music playing and they didn't have their music playing. So it's just kind of a weird vibe going on right now. But we got everything we needed for Brayden, basically sending him some extra snacks and treats and different things because if he, if he gets quarantined to his apartment, then he's gonna be very bored. So we got him an Uno game. We got him some like Takis, Tim Tams, beef jerky, beef jerky, just like special little treats for him just to kind of help out. I, um, the church has been really awesome about giving them an extra budget and extra food. So they have a lot of the food essentials they need. I can't send them canned food or anything. Well, first of all, our stores don't even have it, but um, I can't really send that stuff in the mail. So I'm just sending him some of his favorite treats. So he kind of has those on hand. He needed a new journal, which we need to put in there as well because his journal is almost done. So we got him a new journal that we're sticking in there with some treats and just different things. We bought him, I think I already said, an Uno game so that if they are stuck in there, we actually sent them through Amazon a ukulele as well. So if he wants to, he's been wanting to learn how to play the ukulele. So I'm like, you know what? If you're in your apartment, not doing anything, at least that's something that he could be doing. Um, I wanna prevent them from feeling like getting depressed really i i think just having two missionaries in one apartment and if they are quarantined and cannot go anywhere i feel like that could really bring out who knows what kind of feelings so i'm just trying to send him some of his favorite things so that he's not so like doom and gloom if you know what i'm saying so anyways we are going to head to the post office right now and then we are headed straight back home and um yeah just going to get this stuff prepped and ready to go. All right, so we made it back home from Target. We're just kind of home, hanging out, per usual. Wow, we got a lot of bedhead going on. I love it. So, you guys, our neighborhood is doing something really fun, really awesome, and maybe it's a good idea for you guys, too, in your neighborhood, you could get this going. Okay. Um, but basically, we have a neighborhood Facebook page, and somebody came up with this since it is St. Patrick's Day. Um, but you guys could do, like, anything. I know St. Patrick's Day is over tomorrow, but, um, you could probably do this with anything and just come up with something, but we are putting basically a bunch of people in the neighborhood are going to be putting pictures of four leaf clovers in their windows, which Emberlyn just drew this one. She did an awesome job. We're going to put this in our window and basically you can go around the neighborhood and try to find and count as many four leaf clovers as you can in people's windows. And so we just thought that would be a fun activity for the kids to do. I love that somebody came up with that in our neighborhood. Um, since all of us are kind of staying in the indoors and stuff, we can either go for a walk and try to find things or drive around in our car and count all the different ones that we can find. So Amberlynn is gonna go put this in our window right now. Yeah so that we can contribute to the neighborhood finding these things. Mm -hmm. So put it in our window and then here in just a little bit, you guys, sorry about the lighting, um, here in just a little bit, we are gonna go out as a family and try to see how many we can find all together. So Ethan's taking his Zyrtec. Ethan takes this pretty much almost every day no matter what, yeah. just because of the allergies. <laughs> Amberlynn's got a color by number we're gonna do tonight. So exciting. And Elijah, as you know, you guys, he's got to take... Oh, he's making himself a sandwich. Oh, yeah. So what are you making, dude? A 
salami sandwich with some chips. Oh, nice. And we've got the Hawaiian roll bread, which is actually first time getting it because that's pretty much what they had. So yeah. can't be too picky, too choosy, right? Yeah. When uh, they don't have the norm. So let me know how that tastes. Oh. Elijah does have to take his Zyrtec, which is his chewable Zyrtec for so his I allergies. Chew it. I don't have to like, no, swallow it. No, you don't have to swallow it. It's chewable. Not bad. Not bad, huh? So you just got to take that. That's for your allergies. A little bit later, we're going to give you your Mucinex for your, your congestion and see if that will help a little bit with your throat as well. So you guys, we have been telling the kids they've got to drink water from the fridge because that water is available, right? Yeah. And so we're not going to use our stock or anything of that sort and unless we have to. If it's unnecessary, we've got water from the fridge. So drinking a lot more from the cups, the water from the fridge. That's just one thing that everyone can do since there's not a shortage of, of water in the state. But here's the thing. This is a great time to use your Smile More Cups. <laughs> Look at this boy promoting even in this time. Hey, that's all right. You know what? And you guys, what's awesome was what was really cool. Did you know? You saw, right? Roman Atwood texted us today just to, yeah. just to see how we were doing, sending prayers out for Braden. So he's, he basically was like, oh man, praying for your missionary. Just an awesome little message for today that kind of made our day and just shows how awesome the Atwood family is. And so it did definitely make us smile more. Elijah was with me when I got the text. So I showed him right away and he was just, and it actually did make you smile, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it was actually pretty cool. So thank you to the Atwoods for showing the love. Prayers go out to everyone, hoping everyone is safe. And you guys, we're gonna get going a little bit to uh, on this little leprechaun or, or whatever, this leprechaun hunt that Tina's got going on. Look, everyone's just hanging out. We gotta be helping mom upstairs. We gotta get it all cleaned up. Elijah's having his lunch. He literally made, he literally made like a, a school lunch right here. Chips, sandwich, apple, totally awesome. Good job, dude. Sometimes you have the tendency when you're home to feel like, oh, you have to make something, cook something, but really you could just make an easy, an easy sandwich, huh, E? You gonna do some right now? Yeah, All right, it's almost time for dinner. What's up, everybody? What's up? What are you guys making here we today? We are getting dinner ready. We got Amberlynn making, helping me make a salad. Amberlynn's helping cutting some cucumbers. Cucumbers. <laughs> Amberlynn's a natural at cutting cucumbers. She does awesome. And then we've got pork chops in the oven right now that we are cooking up. The pork chops are delicious. We've had them several times and I eat the whole thing every time. It, oh, you know what sounds good with it? It's stinking barbecue sauce. That would taste delicious. You want stinking barbecue sauce? Stinking barbecue wow. sauce. Wow, I don't know how I feel about that. What do you want with yours? A uh, salad. <laughs> See, mom likes to keep it healthy because that's the good thing to do. Nothing's more healthy than cucumbers. And lettuce. I want to fall deep within. Don't leave me hanging just because I'm too proud. All right, you guys. All right, you guys. So we are heading out right now. We are going to go around our neighborhood and we are going to look for four leaf clovers, shamrocks, lucky charms, whatever you want to call them because it's St. Patrick's Day. And we are going to look. We put one in our front window and apparently there's some around the neighborhood. So we're going to see how many we can find. I'm going to say right now, six. Six? What do you think, Ethan? Nine. 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 Zero. Zero? Um, 11. Amberlynn. Oh. oh. I'm going to go with 12. All right, let's go check this out. All right, we found one on the garage oh. door. Woo. Actually, they had it on their garage door, their front door, and. Oh, found another one. Oh. Counting arms. Oh, so. On that house right here. Oh, that, sorry. They, they had three on that one. So, but that still counts. But we still counts as one. So, what are we at? Three? No. Yeah, three. Three, okay. All right, we found another one on this door right there. Woo okay, guys, right now we have found five clovers. We're still looking around, seeing if we got any. Let's see, can we find any other? We are up to the number eight. Hey. Hey. on the door. Oh. Thir we're at 13 now? Yeah. 13. Oh. Okay, so we are at how many? 16. 16 right now, you guys. So, 
still searching. We're trying to see if we can get up to 20. 17, 17! Can we hit 20? 19! Can we hit 20? 20! All right, so we are all done. What was our grand total? 32! 32 shamrocks! Woo -woo. Boom, you guys, this is the life, I'm going to say, mainly of Tina, because I came in here to help a little bit, just kind of put stuff in boxes, but she's going through all the Braden stuff right now, you guys. Which is actually Woo. making me a little sad, I'm not going to lie. I, I yeah. That's why I've been avoiding this for so long. Yeah, but it'll be good to kind of clear it up, and honestly, he's going to be home, mm, I don't know, it could be sooner than later, we don't know. Yeah, we have no idea. So. so we'll see. But we're just kind of putting all of his stuff that we feel like he wants to keep into boxes and then we'll get him into bins and stuff for when he gets home. Okay guys, so that is the end of this vlog. I'm feeling a little better now. Um, you know, it's just allergies, so I'm feeling better. Um, hope you guys all are safe. You guys are all washing your hands. So don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and don't forget to choose your day.